Hi everyone, let's do some math trick. This time about estimating the value of the square root of any number. And the prerequisite skill is our knowledge of perfect square. You must be able to know that 36 is a perfect square because 36 is 6 squared. 81 is a perfect square because 9 times 9 is 81. If you are asked to find what is the square root of 87, this is how you can do that mentally or at least do that easily. You begin by looking for a perfect square that is lesser than 87. And that number is 81 because the square root of 81 is equal to 9. And then you get the difference between 87, this 87 and this 81, and you get a value of 6. Take that as your numerator and divide this by twice this 9. So double this 9 to get 2 times 9, 18. And 6 over 18 is 1 third. And so this is equal to 9.33. Now, if you use calculator to compute the square root of 87, the precise value is 9.3273 and so on. Notice that these two values are almost the same. In fact, if you round this off to two decimal places, we have exactly the same answers. So this is not 100 precise, but very, very close to the actual square root of that number. Let's have another example. Let's say we have square root of 39. Again, we look for a perfect square lesser than 39, and that is 36. The square root of 36 is 6, and then subtract 39 minus 36 to get 3, and then double this 6 to get 12. 3 over 12 is 1 fourth, so we have 6.25. And the precise value of the square root of 39 is 6.2449. And notice that our value is very close to the actual square root of 39. Let's have another example. Square root of 12. Again, look for a perfect square that is lower than square root of 12 and closest to square root of 12. And that is square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. And then... Let's subtract 12 and 9 to get 3 also. That becomes the numerator. And then double this 3 to get 6. So 3 and 3 over 6 is 3.50 or 3.5. And the exact value of square root of 12 is approximately 3.4641, which is very close to our computed square root of 12. Now, let's have another example. What is the square root of 68? So again, look for a perfect square below 68, and that is 64. Square root of 64 is 8, and 68 minus 64 is 4. And then we double this 8 to get 16. 4 over 16 is 1 fourth, so we have 8.25. And compare that with the precise value of square root of 68, which is approximately 8.2462, and you notice that our computed result here is very close to the actual value of square root of 68. In fact, that error is very negligible. Now, let's have another example, the square root of 99. Notice that the square root of 99 is closer to the next perfect square 100 than the next perfect square lower than 99, which is 81. So in our case, we are going to use the next perfect square above 99, which is 100. So get the square root of 100, that is equal to 10. And then, 99 minus 100 is negative 1, and we double 10 to get 20, and then simplify 10 minus 1 over 20, that gives us 9.95, and compare that with the calculator value of square root of 99, which is approximately 9.9498. And notice that these two values are very close with each other. And for those who are asking why this method works, you can watch out for our next video where we present the algebraic explanation why this method works. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video.